Yep. Okay, so I, think, uh, I didn't realize that Mumble actually puts these little ones. icons on my screen. I've turned that over. I've turned that off, brother. Oh, okay. I don't know how to do that. I've never used Mumble. <laughs> um, be in options with overlay. Okay, I'll probably do that real quick then. We're almost loaded in. It's a shame that Observer's still not working. Right. Uh... Okay, we, for me, anyway, on CLG, we've got Evelyn going straight down middle with some boots and a ward. Uh, boots on Corky also, and nothing else out of the ordinary. Okay, do Apparently, Kobe wants uh, to chest out stuff, but I don't like that idea. Mm -hmm. I think they're trying to test out a hot fix. Um, so I don't know if that's what they're really going to do or not. But we do have a little bit of vision going down here. I can see y'all's uh, clairvoyance. And we're going to be coming up to the top bush. Where are you guys at right now? Uh, CLG are at the bush just behind Baron. So behind that red also. Okay. Oh, there they are. Uh, yeah. yeah. We can now see them with uh, clairvoyance. Just a peek. So yeah, the whole team is up at the red. They're going to be trying to gain. Who do you think has a stronger early game? Um, definitely CLG. With the pulverize, maybe an Evelyn's done with scouting. If she's going to go, um, stun first spell. I imagine she would. I don't know why she wouldn't. Yep, there she goes. She's still going down, hitting three people. We actually have a vision ward, we can see her. Oh nice, Reginald picking up first blood. Two kills there, ouch. So, yeah, got destroyed. <laughs> yeah, the Evelyn decided not to go in. That was actually pretty clever. They put down that vision ward hoping to catch Evelyn trying to scout the bush, uh, which she didn't do. But even without that, they still lost two people. So that's a pretty pretty bad start overall for uh, CLG losing two people right off the bat. And both of them were two Reginald. Evelyn's coming down middle now on Ash. Oh, nice. Smiley harassed there on the Ash. But they're not actually running Ash John lane down bottom. Yeah, um, that's kind of curious. I don't know why they wouldn't do that. It seems to me like it would be such a great setup. They can have Cho'Gath uh, go top lane and they can have Vladimir mid, but... You know, NA just really doesn't like that duel or that, that duel lane on bottom with carry, so that's, I guess that's why they're not doing it. But with uh, Eve coming in the middle again, uh, getting this done, some more harass on the Ash. Yeah, definitely. It feels so like the uh, with the Evelyn in the game, it'd be a lot smarter to have Ash on bottom just due to that fact. Because the uh, you know if Vladimir was middle, then he can sustain, he would be able to sustain himself and not have to worry as much about the harassment. Uh, Evelyn again camped around middle. She might get Ash in. But I think Ash should have just seen her. Yeah, she's just come out of stealth. But with uh, with Vlad getting two kills, that's pretty pretty big for him early game. Yeah, he's already got boots and a Doran shield plus two health potions, so he's gonna have really strong lane dominance. Not that he doesn't already, even without that. <laughs> I have Evelyn coming up actually in the brush. I did see her. I she saw her stealth. with the ward, so. So they do know, uh, Reginald does know she's there and the lane is being pushed, so he should be fine. And she got a little too close to the turret, so we were able to see the vision of her too. I think the good thing to note about uh, the Evelyn is how she actually did do her harassment. Um, so for people who are actually new to roaming with Evelyn, uh, you can kind of notice how she went in there and, and obviously wasn't trying to go tower dive at level 1 for the kill, but she just harassing uh, the Ash so that the Corky had the stronger lane in the early game. Jana's actually can't be in middle right now. <laughs> yeah, I think, she's, so, uh... I think she decided to go ahead and go duo with her because of the Evelyn. 
It's not a bad counter to the Evelyn Rome if she sticks around middle for the majority of her time. Uh, Nunu and Evelyn catching each other out there. Nunu. Yeah, I actually don't see Evelyn, but I guess yeah, she sees him. Red. Oh, nice. This could be kind of bad for the other one. I don't think he's... He may not die here, but that is a lot of damage he's probably going to have to back. He did put down a ward, though, so he'll know whenever that red's being taken. Oh man, Ash taking a lot of damage here, so she's going to lose some lane dominance for sure just by going up there to try and help the team. So she's going to go ahead and back. Uh, good thing for her, the lane is pushing, so she's not going to really lose any farm there, so that's actually not too bad for her. So we basically have Angina and Evelyn roaming. Uh, AP against AP at top, and you'd have to say tank v tank bomb. Yep, definitely. Cho'Gath is probably going to be a much better uh, uh, farm in the end game, I think. I want you to see the uh, Alistar and Evelyn ganks together. Yeah, I haven't actually it's, seen uh, Alistar yet this game. I mean, obviously, other than the first. <laughs> is he just trying to level up and get jungle? Yeah. He, yeah I guess he, he doesn't really have three. to roam. And just bought a ruby crystal. He didn't buy any boots yet, though. I thought maybe getting boots first before the ruby crystal, so he'd get a gank. But it looks like he's just trying to get an item or two first. I must move. Oh yeah, definitely start. Um, every time your summoner ability is up, then push it. Or if you have okay. like a, a self cast spell, just cast it every once in a while. Um, TLG Blue was just CV'd and. It's Evelyn and Alistar are trying to do it right now. Man, look at this. Uh, this Corky's actually getting some amazing farm. Uh, of course, that's pretty much to be expected. Corky's extremely hard to stop from farming, just with his range and whatnot. Plus, this Ash is being harassed pretty bad by that Evelyn, so... I had a ping go down in middle. I think Evelyn might be trying to come around. No, she's heading towards top at the moment. Yeah, Ash is going to try and tank this minion wave so that the tower doesn't take her last hits. Pretty good strategy overall for the lane control. CS-wise, it's fairly even apart from Nikolki just having a little bit of a lead. Yeah, I think that the Ash will probably catch up if Evelyn can't get some more harassment off on her. And I do see that you guys are taking the red buff there. We have an award in that bush. <laughs> but I don't think anyone's going to stop him. I'm guessing that Evelyn's going to take this red from him. Yeah, it looks like. Oh, look at that arrow. Oh, Did you get arrow. it? Wow, know. that was awesome, man. Chaos knowing exactly when they're about to get that buff, so he shoots the arrow and steals it with the AoE. That was awesome. Wow, got to be embarrassing, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the flash going down up top. Hotshot GG with no summoner now. Um, or at least not his flash. I don't think he's used his ghost yet. So uh, this Ash might actually get some lane dominance. And she, she, does have a, uh, she does have a war down, so she can see if Evelyn tries to come gank her. So she might be able to harass Corky a little bit and just get Do some more last hits. you have top pink warded? Uh, yes, top is pink warded, so we know that Evelyn is yeah. there. So they are definitely the countering Evelyn quite, quite well. The Rayman just continues to push Elements here. Elements doesn't have a lot of AoE on creeps, at least not in the you know comparison to Cho'Gath. So he's not really able to have that control. But regardless Whoa. of that, he's farming really well anyways. Yeah, you gotta give the advantage to Cho'Gath, really, with his passive. But both are just farming and farming and farming. If, uh, if Eve Both of them have the turtle shell, and I see Eve is coming down to gank bottom right now. Uh, the Rayman should have saw that. There was multiple pings going down. Ash Arrow not hitting anyone. I don't know what the heck she was aiming for there, but... Uh, the Rayman sees Evelyn go into that bush, so he's just gonna have to, uh, just kinda hang back a little bit. Oh, we do have a little bit of action going here. The uh, Alistar was coming in to invade the jungle, and now he has to waste his flash to get out because Odd One did see him. Odd One's already level 6, and Alistar's only level 4. This Evelyn just died to uh, Chagath. Oh, wow. She tried to gank. 
with only boots at level four. What was Cho'Gath, she thinking? Uh, numbed and silenced, and she's dead with an ignite, I think, as well. He's twice her level, yeah. so definitely has his ultimate. He's got a heart of gold, boots, and Doran's shield, and she tried to gank that. So, with a no red buff yeah. here. And you can't really expect uh, the tree to do as well. Hot shot is going down to Vlad. Yeah, that's definitely going to take him he out right dead. there. He has. Yeah, one more hit. Ouch! Pretty. uh... Oh gosh, dang he just it. left. Um, so we have a 0-4 lead for TSM, or 4-0 lead for TSM rather. Yep, so we were actually, you know, as I was saying before um, on the picks and stuff, that CLG is going to have to rely on trying to have an early game advantage, but in this case, it's actually Team Soul Mid who picked up the early game advantage with those two early kills, and killing that Evelyn down bottom, and then um, Vladimir picking up another tower dive kill up top on Hotshot. Hotshot's really, really getting knocked out of the lane here. He's only level 7 versus Reginald's... Oh man, Vladimir's just, just wrecking him. He can't even get close to the creeps right now. Evelyn's going to try and do something, but I think if she pops up, she's actually going to die. Because if Vladimir's got our ulti, it got his ultimate, well, it requires Malzahar and Eve to overlap their stuns, but I think he should be able to survive it. Might be able to pick one up himself. Yep, definitely. We do have uh, some jungle well. gank or jungle stealing going on here. We have new stealing the blue buff with Janna. Janna's still level four, Alice but not coming up top as well. It's going to be three v one top now. Oh, nice. And Vladimir pulls away. <laughs> yeah, I think he expected that Evelyn to gank. Was she right next to him? Mm, pretty much in the brush, just above. Okay, so yeah, that's why he pulled. Like the only reason he pulled is because he was probably expecting that stun to come out. He can't actually see her. There are no more wards for uh, for Evelyn right now. So she possibly could get some ganks going, but she does kind of need to level up. What level is she right now? Uh, she's level 5. We have boots and mobility. And yeah. that's it. It will help her out with her ganking. Gonna but... Evelyn's going to come gank. Yeah, but here is Janna. So Janna will be there to try and help out. She doesn't have her ult yet. She's still only level 4, actually. Dang. So definitely the uh, roamers here and the support are really kind of holding back on the leveling. And it's actually going to be better off for Team Solo Mid because uh, Evelyn does kind of need a little bit more farm and levels as she gets later in the game, whereas Janna just needs her ultimate and some abilities. She's actually, in uh, TRG jungle, I think, I start my... Nah, he's had to use Flash to get away from Oh, that. wow, look at that. No, he not. actually hit him with a knockup and flashed in to get him with an Ignite. Very nice. And an yeah. arrow coming in, not needed, though. Wow, well, that was pretty crazy. The, uh, and this Vladimir at top is just like, get out of my lane, Eve. No deal. No XP for you. Yes, he's super strong right now. He can just zone anyone out at this point. Now, Jen is getting a little bit closer to level 6. She's got a Philosopher's Stone, so... I, I don't know, man. I'm feeling really bad for CLG right now. They're going to have to uh, pull some, some pretty crazy maneuvers right now if they want to get back in this game. Um, there are no, like, towers down or dragon. Actually, did they pick up a dragon when I wasn't watching? Uh, nope. I don't think okay, so. I just can't see it. There's a ward there, but I can't see a dragon. That's Nunu did it with Janna. Yeah, I he must have done it. So I guess Total Team Soul Man does have that dragon. Oh man, there's a bunch of action going up here on top. Reginald uh, getting three-man ganked, but they aren't not they're not able to finish it off. We have Janna keeping him shielded just enough. Just leaves uh, Ash to get some free hits from this tower in the middle. Yep. So she's gonna try and do as much damage as possible. Probably not gonna be able to take it down, but getting it down to half is good enough. Creep-wise, we've got uh, Ash leading away with 110, Corky just behind on Chowstar with 109. Um, you got Vlad and Cho just very close to 100. But and we do have a guys. call for the odd one. He's actually saying that uh, he's saying that their blue is going to be up at 1740, so they're definitely ready to keep that counter jungle. All right, do a little bit of gank here on the odd one here. They're going to try and steal this buff, but Ash with the arrow stunning her, and then he does the ult. Man, so much damage, and this Evelyn might actually go down, and I don't know if she's going to get away. Yep. Oh, no. Nope. Nice Boy. W there on her. That was, that was pretty nice good overall. That was, um, I don't think she expected that at all. Oh, wow, there's another tower dive up top. Fortunately, we missed the uh, bottom of my dive up top. 
I don't think yeah. people will be too bothered about missing that because it would probably be generic Vladimir diving. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Reginald just completely me. taking advantage of his lead right now. And he's just, I mean, Hasha just can't even stay in the lane. He's just so fat right now. I mean, Vladimir is so terribly annoying to deal with whenever he's that much ahead of you. Um, Colgi's actually recalling here, so this middle tower should also drop. Yeah, even if he didn't recall, I don't think he could have defended this. The uh, warding from CLG, as far as I can see, has been very lackluster. Basically only warded top a couple of times. No dragon ward whatsoever. Yeah, I'm looking at the farm, and they're actually pretty getting kind of behind on that as well. As well as Vladimir is doing, he's actually doing more harass than farm because Ash is uh, farming a little bit more to him. Not not a lot, just like one or two. But I was expecting with him having that much of a lead, he would be a little higher than that. So I guess he's focusing more just on that harassment, which is working. So I don't know. What do you think? Uh, does uh, the CLG have a chance to come back at this point? I mean, they are really far behind. Um, with TSM, you know, the caliber of team they're at, I don't think um, they're going to let this slip. Uh, take a monumental mess up from TSM to let this game go out of their hands. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the time has passed for Evelyn and Alistar to affect this game um, the way that we know they can, uh, which means they have a lot of time to try and get back in the game. Meanwhile, Vladimir and Ash just get stronger and stronger. So. I can't really see any way back for CLG. Definitely, and here's going to be the second dragon picked up by Team Sulamid as well. And, um, you know, I don't like to say that the game's over because I did that last week with Team Sulamid and um, they ended up losing, even though the other team had a disconnect and everything. But that was a very late game. Um, they did make some mistakes. So, uh, I don't know, maybe if CLG just, you know, lasts out long enough, they might have a chance. But again, uh, Team Sulamid does have a stronger one. Oh, wow, yeah, good game. Let's see if they can actually finish him off. He flashes out and no. pulls. If he gets Ooh. an ult here. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way. 4v1. Reginald yeah, finally. Down. Taking down Reginald. I don't know how much gold they get from that. Um, plus 476. Okay, so. Uh, meanwhile, it was 4v1 on the Maokai bomb. And TSM should get this tower bot too. Yep, so one death for each team, but I Should don't be see... Should be a tower trade. Yeah. Yeah, looks like we're going to have a little bit of a uh, uh, tower race at this point. Ash does have the double buff. I don't know how much longer it is um, she's going to have it, but... Uh, no double buff. As far as on, I know, American so players love... A utility tree, so if she's gone utility, she might have picked both up for late game red buff and blue yep, buff. Definitely, that's what I usually run as well. What do you guys like to run in the EU? You just do more defensive, or? Um, we don't love utility as much, as far as I'm aware. Um, I mean, personally, I go for like mixtures on certain heroes. Like oh, look at this! We got an arrow going on this Evelyn. Uh, she was detected with the oracles and quickly taken out. Uh, very nice job by Nunu coming in there to slow her down with his ultimate, and Ash was able to pick that up. Yeah, she's died three times, 10 CS, level seven. Pretty <laughs> much. Ouch. Yeah, that's uh, that's bad. I mean, I mean, I don't mind a Janna being level seven with not much CS, but an Evelyn with no uh, no kills and level seven is just not very useful at all to your team. So. Yeah, it's gonna get to 20 minutes in, and then she's not gonna have a sheen. And most Evelyns, as far as I'm aware. We'll always um, rush a Sheen to go to a Triforce, and she's going to be nowhere near that. And it's going to take her at least another 20 minutes, probably, and by then I think the game's going to be over. Yeah, most definitely. That's, that's a huge setback for them. I mean, the reason I believe that the old Evelyn was so good is because she could farm up and jungle and get ganks off all at the same time, but with a roaming, you're more, you're more relying on getting some early ganks, and in this case, she was not able to get any at all, so she wasn't able to really um, do her job. I'm I'm thinking that the uh, Alistar and Evelyn together, they kind of it's kind of counted as productive. Yeah. Like Evelyn puts the enemy team on high alert for ganks, and Alistar coming in, he's not been able to. Like he's been able to do nothing, so he's been sitting in jungle farming. 
They see um, this Evelyn. He's actually chasing her down with the arrow. Yeah, there's not. Um, really. I don't think it hit though. No, I just missed. So she's not gonna die another time. That's good. And we can see that uh, looks like CLG's waiting in that bush, trying to hide. But we know they're there. There is lots of map control going on here. Wards all over the place for TSM, which they can afford it. They are so far ahead, nine to one. And looking at CS, let me check that out real quick. So on CS, we got 160 kills. Vladimir is definitely pulling ahead on that CS, but Corky as well farming up pretty nicely, just that he doesn't have as many kills as Vlad. I think Chogas yes, and Vladimir might actually be able to 2v5 this enemy team. <laughs> I almost feel like you're right, man. They're so tanky at this point. Um, the Rain Man with 2,900 HP and a Force of Nature. Um, he's got a Heart of Gold, so he's pretty damn tanky. I mean, uh, he can handle most of the damage that they're going to put out. And Vladimir, pretty much right there. He's getting, he's got the uh, Hextech Roar, so he's gonna have lots of sustain. He's got the, uh, you know, of course, the Spirit Vicious to give himself extra heal and 2,700 HP. Can't really go wrong with that. The, uh, I don't know about you, but for me, early game as well, it, it kind of felt like TSM were playing with four people, and they were still winning because I didn't really see Nunu get involved in any real ganks, um, apart from that like thing in middle. But that was t towards the later stages of the laning phase. It wasn't like he was like going up top and harassing the mouths a lot. Like you see some new news, they just like to try and gank as much as possible. Yeah, like, generally that's what you see. And uh, he he did do a little bit of counter juggling. He was just running around putting down wards and uh, stealing jungle creeps. So he was just trying to keep Alistar low. And if you notice, that's what happened. He was level six when Alistar was level four. So lots of kind of oh, and there's an arrow getting down on elements. They're gonna try and take out Maokai. Definitely, he's gonna die and uh reginald keeping on <laughs> man poor hotshot he's just being s destroyed by reginald all game long that's gotta be uh, I hard to and i think it's we have an actual we have a little bit of a uh, tower push down bottom but it's not gonna matter surrender because vote. what happened surrender vote oh okay gotcha. oh yep that is five to zero six to zero there you go your last one 11 to 1, so uh, first game, CLG completely demolished by Team Soul Mid. Hopefully they can uh, pull it together, get some better picks for the round two, and pull this into a best of three. Otherwise, uh, TSM doing quite well for this uh, today's matches. Yeah. Um, see, this is uh, one of the overriding problems for me, I think. I don't think CLG have had much chance to practice what they're doing English there due to the nature of the competitive scene in, in a lot of the moment. If you think that they could like do a scrim or two, or as many as possible, to try out this Eve and Alistair and see how it works, I don't know if they've practiced it, um, but it doesn't feel like they practiced it too much. It really doesn't. I, I believe that most, most of the players generally just do solo queue, and then whenever the games come around, they just kind of pick whatever they feel is going to be good. But I could be wrong, and I don't know how much scrimming they're doing. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around and watching the video. Definitely subscribe up top, send your comments down below, add me on Facebook and Twitter, and be sure to check out the website, kobecheese.com. And I'll see you guys around for the next one. Peace out.